Hey, hey, Leo, intuitive soul coach here with your October 2023 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading, entering into the free monthly reading giveaway or signing up for the monthly newsletter, you can find all of that information in the description box below. All right, welcome. This is good for any and all placements of Leo in your chart. So in the month of October, Leo, you have finances, clarity, and mending as the key themes. And the bonus card, what you don't see coming or some unexpected shifts that may be happening for you in the month of October, you have the choice card. So there could be some last minute decisions, something finally being made concrete that you've been mulling over for quite some time. This is also about resourceful people, energies, or things coming into your world that can help you move forward. This is about free will, choosing. Some of you may be weighing up pros and cons. You may be feeling a little bit like you have one foot in a, one situation and another foot over here, feeling a little bit between worlds. But you'll be able to find that balance this month because we do have the mending card and clarity. So whatever it is that you felt a little bit foggy on, which direction to go, what choice to make, how do I know if I'm moving forward, you're going to have that clarity this month. So I like the choices showing up as your bonus card. Now right away here, you do have finances that came out. Finances can be all about your career, your income, your hobbies, what it is that you do for a living. For others of you, there could be a sale happening, whether it's in real estate, it could be a sale of a large item or a purchase even. Some of you, this has to do with your savings account, taking a look at maybe your stocks, your 401k plans, uh, banks, institutions. There could even be a payout coming in for you. This is about fortune and taking a look at where you are putting your time your energy and money that's going to pay off. You can see here that there's a money tree and there's coins all around, which I love because you also receive the coins card within your wealth and career sector. So I definitely feel like you are investing in things at this time that are going to pay off in the long run. So there could be a new income source coming in, and that could be something that you are choosing as well. You may be weighing up some pros and cons, as mentioned. Maybe it's, should I retire? Should I go for that new job? Should I ask for a raise or a promotion? Is this time to make a big decision in your life? So I feel like the answer is yes, and you're going to have the clarity here and the help to mend, to forgive, to have a clean slate to build because we do have the tower showing up here as well. So I'm getting here a rebuilding. Some of you may have lost a lot of financial stability, okay? Some of you, this could be a job, it could be uh, your savings. This can be any sort of stability that you had around finances. It could have been that you, you are working on healing. I'm also getting the belief system around money in itself is something that you've been working on. Maybe you had some limiting beliefs or because of what was happening in the world, the economy, you may have had some beliefs of self-doubt. Maybe you were unsure, uncertain. There could even be some global collective energies coming in around wealth, money, and finances. We also have cryptocurrency showing up here in your wealth sector. So that could be personally for you or on a collective level. Now we also have repairing, therapy, surgery. This can also have to do with relationships. This is a really powerful month. As we navigate through Libra season, Libra is all about relationships. So you may be taking a look at your relationships and saying, am I investing time and energy into the relationships that are helping me grow and evolve? Are they in return investing back? So you're really looking at these things on a deeper level. So this is a really good month to, to take stock 
of what's happening in your world. And that may cause tower moments. Some of you are manifesting these tower moments because it's been a long time coming. For others of you, it doesn't have to be a negative tower. And from the looks of it, it looks like this is something that you've been waiting for for quite some time. It's actually going to help you rebuild this is about healing, repairing, and coming together. So I feel that the resources, whether this shows up in forms of money, in the form of uh, people, helpful people, it could even be energy and time, support. I feel like the resources are bountiful and plentiful for you this month, Leo. So mending is on the forefront. Now you also have the clarity. Things are coming to light. There's that tower showing up here as well. And you also have the magician. So you are the creator. You have the ability here to really manifest some great change in your world. But you must be clear on what your needs are. You may be communicating better. This is also about speaking up for what you want, what you deserve. You're finding solutions here, and it could even be through meditation. It could be uh, through divine guidance. A lot of you, this is someone who can help you see something that maybe you're not able to see at this time. So that could be a professional. It could be someone that really cares and supports you. And they may be able to help you kind of balance those scales this month. Now you have here clear path ahead. And I feel like this clear path is where you've been trying to put your attention and focus, but there may have been distractions along the way. So let's dive in here to the tarot. Your first card out I'm loving is the pig, the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles here is a really powerful energy to have in any reading because it's all about family. It's about true wealth. Now, some of you at times may have avoided some sort of risk. Okay, and I am getting here. Now, this is interesting because usually I'm all about the risk. But because you have... The All That Glitters card, there could be a risk that you want to jump on or something that shows up. I feel like this could be more on a, a global level. It may be something that seems too good to be true, but I feel like there's a, a backfire type of energy. Okay, so it may have to do with finances. Again, this may not affect your your personal life we'll dive into that here in a moment but i do feel like on a collective level or a global level there could be something that is risky or it could be new it could be some new systems new uh, governing agencies new rules that have to do with finances and it's not all chalked up to be what it's supposed to be here okay because all that glitters isn't always gold now i'm also getting here in your personal life or professional life, this is all about leaving your legacy behind. It is about being able to help and be of service, to help support your own family, uh, the family that you leave behind as well. The Ten of Pentacles is a really beautiful card about financial security. And I feel a lot of you are making some great changes when it comes to your own security and your stability, even if this is on a, a belief level, it's actually helping you out long term because this is longevity as well. Whatever you're focused on right now, if this is a new income source, a new idea, if you're getting clarity and making a new decision, I don't want to say too risky here, but doing something that maybe you've you've wanted to do for quite some time, it's about consistency is what I'm getting here. Not so much impulsivity. Okay, so staying consistent to some sort of dream or goal that you've had for quite some time instead of, you know, a get rich quick scheme. Because some of you, you may have felt victimized or fell into a, a get rich quick type of scheme or that may uh, become offered to you in the month of October. Just trying to find balance. Okay, now with this Ten of Pentacles, this is again family dynamics. So some of you are healing some family situations with the mending. There could be some generational cycles that are really coming into the forefront this month for you to take a look at. Whether this is your own children, your own parents, this could even be spousal uh, interactions as well. Uh, uh, 
February. I was going to say February. Some of you, there's strong energy around February. That may mean something for you. And it could even be February of 2024. You could hear from a family member that you haven't heard from for a while, or if someone has a family member that's crossed over, February could be a significant month. Okay. Now you have the six of wands. This is one of my favorite minor arcanas. The six of wands is all about shining your inner light. That is so important because a lot of us, tend to hold our power back. We hold our energy back in, in fear of criticism, judgments, not feeling good enough, not, not realizing our, our potentiality. This is about moments of glory. So six of wands is also about success, accomplishment, achievement, fame, victory. It is about recognition. So you have the talents and the abilities here to not only recognize these things within yourself, but to have other people recognize these within you. Therefore, if you're going for that job offer, if you're going for that promotion, if you're looking to put yourself out there in the dating world, or if you are looking to re-spark a current relationship, Relationship. This is all about you shining your inner light because sometimes as we navigate through life here on earth, we get clouded. We get clouded with energy fields that layer upon layer upon layer of, of heaviness right? And we feel heavy at times and that can actually dim our inner light. So what's been happening is a lot of you've been doing the inner work to peel away these layers of heaviness, whether it's pain, restrictions, criticism, judgments, all of those things. And this is the month for you to really shine your light. It's about you knowing that you have what it takes to make some choices and decisions that are in your highest good, to not second guess who you are on a deeper soul level. And a lot of you are tuning in with your, your higher self this month. You're being divinely guided. The, the six of wands, the firefly is about your true north. So things are going to light up for you this month. And it could, could come unexpectedly with the tower, right? This could be a new offer that you don't see coming, right? But on a deeper level, your soul has been manifesting this. So your soul is ready. Even if it feels like your human self is isn't quite prepared, you are, right? And this could also be a relationship. It could be healing, mending, something coming to the surface here. Your finances, taking a deeper look. So it's being illuminated. And we also have a powerful eclipse season coming up here in October as well. And this is about things being illuminated for you to shift the energy, Okay, whatever is not working, it's time to do something about it. And that's really powerful here. You have what it takes. If you felt like you failed in a situation, know that failure is the stepping stone towards success. If you felt shamed, overlooked, or even humiliated in any area of your life, this is the month that you heal, that you meant through therapy, through psychic surgery here, through coaching, mentoring, but most importantly, going within and trusting in your higher self, your spiritual team, that you have the abilities here. Now, next you have the death card. This lands smack dab in the middle of your reading. So there could be a lot of shifts mid month for you. Okay. You have it with the beaver, which is the seven of cups. So there could be some choices mid month. This could be what you don't see coming. Okay. Because the, the seven of cups is all about your dreams. It's about being determined. You have options here. And at times you may feel overwhelmed or you maybe you don't feel like you have the ability to turn one of those options into reality, but you do here. Don't deceive yourself. Don't, don't deny yourself the opportunity because you don't feel or you don't think or you don't believe it's possible because it absolutely is. This is a death energy with this moth and it says destruction, renewal, and real truths. Now the death energy can be sticky, right? As that moth turns, you know, as that butterfly is going through that cocooning process here, it's sticky, it's gooey, it's messy, it's not fun, right? It's not like this, this uh, you know, caterpillar is 
tightly wrapped up in the cocoon, which it is, but it's, it's not like it's taking a little bit of a nap and it's going to come out of it, right? There's a lot of growth to grow the wings. There's a lot of transformation. There's a lot of shifting internally that you can't even see, right, from that cocoon stage. So a lot of you, this is about you really focusing on your dreams here to have this sense of renewal. There are some truths coming out here. It could be around uh, that eclipse. I'm not quite sure what date that lands on, but I am getting here for you specifically. 14, 17, and 21 could be significant. Now, Leo, the Seven of Cups with the death, you may have put something to rest, okay? This could be maybe a childhood dream. Maybe it's a relationship. I'm feeling that you had to look at something from a different point of view at that time or current at this time in order for you to grow. So with this death energy, I am getting here, putting it to rest, but you're taking on a new energy. So maybe you've always wanted to be a doctor and now you're saying, I believe that I can do this, but it doesn't have to be in the same form of, you know, being a brain surgeon that I, I wanted to be, right? You may say I can be of service by being, you know, A, B, or C, whatever it is. So I feel like you have some options here and maybe you limited yourself in the past by sticking to one thing. And that may sound counterintuitive because you're probably thinking, well, Melissa, you said get a little bit of clarity. But sometimes, yes, we absolutely can be that brain surgeon if that's what you wanted here. And you may be going back to school. You may be deciding to take a new job. I am getting health and healing here around you. But for a lot of you Leos, this is about not giving up on your dream. Even if it takes a diff on a different form, it doesn't mean that you can't make it to that level of brain surgeon, but you may have to go through a few ups and downs to get there, or you may have to take a few side steps. Okay, so in the... Towards the end of the month, you have the Magician in the Tower, two major arcanas, two very powerful major arcanas. You have the Snake and the Raven here. So the Magician is all about alchemy, manifestation, and willpower. You have here the determination, the willpower, the skills, the gifts, and the talents to turn anything into gold here if you stay consistent and you believe in it. Now, the tower is saying that there could be something that shocks you. There could be a big change here in, you know, your outer world, like I said, within the, the global energy. This could be within your own personal life. It could be how someone approaches you, what they say. You may even receive an apology this month and it may completely throw you for a loop, but I feel like it's going to liberate you. Okay, that's what the tower ultimately represents is a revelation that offers you freedom. It can be even a shattering of an old belief system. It can be about you moving towards a higher level of soul ascension. And that's basically what I see here happening. And it's going to shift and alter the way you view money, the way money comes in to your world or finances. It's also going to bring about clarity. There could be some shocking truths that show up in your world and it's going to allow you to really transform because in the middle of your reading, you have the death card, which is symbolic for transformation. There is a time of an ending here. There's a rebirth happening. So the biggest thing that I can tell you here, Leo, is don't resist. Don't try to hold the pieces together that are falling apart, right? Or that are crumbling down because this needs to shift. It needs to change. And some of those pieces are going to be fragments of your own energy that's been layered upon layer because of past conditions. So let those pieces fall. Allow those emotions to surface, right? Allow yourself to feel, to flow, and to just be, and to sit with some truths to navigate through the roller coaster, but know on a deep soul level that you are the magician, that you have the ability to create life in a new way, right? It's like, it's like a Lego, a Lego tower. If anybody's ever built a Lego tower, if you've had kids that have built Legos, you know, they'll work hours and hours on building a Lego castle 
just to, at the end, destroy it or put it all together. Some kids, not all of them. Some keep them there. Uh, but all that hard work and energy and effort, but it's okay to destroy that at the end because they know that there are so many different ways to build a new Lego figurine or castle or whatever it is that they're building, right? So in this situation here, I almost feel like you, you've received a whole new tub of Legos and you want to incorporate those new Legos into something new, right? So you're willing to break down that structure. So I feel like you are doing something bigger and better that's more solid, right? It's more solid, it's built on a stronger foundation. It's gonna bring long-term growth, long-term uh, stability here with this 10 of Pentacles. It could be a relationship that can withstand the test of time. For others of you, it could even be some sort of dynamic that's finally come to a close. It's, it's come to its expiration date, and now you're saying, how can I put this into a new perspective? How can I make the choice here to really grow and evolve? For others of you, if you've been married for quite some time, because the Ten of Pentacles can be the card of marriage, I feel like there's something that needs to come out in the open, something that needs to be talked about or addressed, like the, the white elephant in the room. There needs to be a change here in order for you to move forward. In order for this relationship to move forward, in order for a career to move forward, there definitely needs to be something addressed and there needs to be clarity around this as well. So when it comes to career, wealth, money, abundance, you have the butterfly showing up, which is represented here within the death card. And this does talk about sudden changes. So pay attention to your spending. You don't want to be too frivolous. Uh, this is about short-term loans, which is interesting because you actually have this loan approved card here. So for those of you that may be looking for a loan or some sort of short-term approval, I feel like it's coming in here. Now you may have a career in the arts. This can be all about movement, temporary jobs, making your work more creative, more fun, more enjoyable. That could be what this big change is coming in. It may shock you, but it's actually gonna bring in more abundance especially over time. Now you have the cup card showing up, Leo. This is all about overflowing prosperity. You may have a full or empty account or somewhere in between. And because I'm getting that balanced energy here of maybe pros and cons, you may be weighing up. Should I purchase that large item? Should I wait to buy the home? Should I get a new vehicle? Should I put more money into this account or that account? So you're definitely weighing up some options here. And I feel like you're taking care of some business. This is about you being able to feel fulfilled, not just financially, but emotionally as well, because cups represent emotion. Now, lastly, you have the coins. This is all about money coming in, wealth, good investments. Some of you may be into sales and finance, or you may be speaking to a professional in one of those departments. This is about getting a raise or maybe even that payout, right? It could be catching your lucky break, some sort of a payout here for you. So beautiful cards, definitely clarifying a little bit more or synchronizing with the present energy here. But you also have background check. You have cryptocurrency. And you also have loan approved. Okay, so loan approved. Some of you may be, maybe if you have any sort of cryptocurrency, you could see a tower moment. You could see something that shocks you. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. Please see the disclaimer in the description box below. Uh, for others of you, you may see some really big shifts and turns within the stock market, within, again, governing or worldwide uh, energies in the month of October. Now you, I mean, we're already seeing that. You don't, you know, you don't need to be a rocket science to know, scientist to know that there's a lot of changes financially going on. Uh, and I feel like that, again, has to do with this all that glitters. Now, some of you, there is a background check taking place. Whether someone is running your credit, whether you are applying for a new position, okay? Someone is looking into you at this time. I'm also getting in matters of love. Someone is taking a look at your, maybe your social media. Someone may be looking at your pictures. This could be someone of the past. I'm getting family 
This could be family uh, or someone that may have been a part of the family at one time. They may be just kind of looking into you or maybe you're looking into someone else because I also get research as well. Some of you may even be researching into a company, into a job, into which banks have maybe the best interest rates or loan rates because you do have this approval card with a loan. So if you are going for a loan here, some of you are paying it off is what I'm getting with the mending. Okay, you may have a choice here to consolidate uh, an energy. I feel like there could be some sort of consolidation happening. So please take that as it resonates. Now, when it comes to love, you have wedding, which makes sense because you have the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could be getting married. You may have an anniversary in the month of October, or there could be you manifesting a long-term commitment that has the potential to end up in, again, marriage, if that is what you're looking for here. It says this situation does involve marriage. You have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So again, there is some sort of truth, mending, coming together. For those of you that are in a relationship or you've been in a relationship for quite some time, there is some sort of truth and honesty that needs to show up here and recognition for what each other does, what you do for each other even with the six of wands. Can you acknowledge what they do even if their love language is a little bit different than yours? Okay, because the, in, you both need to be noticed, recognized and respected within this union. So you may have to have a serious conversation with someone if you're not feeling that you are communicating or getting what it is that you need and vice versa because someone may feel like you're over here or maybe you feel like someone's over here when really you want to just come together. For those of you that are single, I feel like there's options here, right? There's options with the seven of cups, but you have to believe that you are worthy of love. You have to believe here that you have uh, this inner light, which you do with the six of wands. So I do feel like there's an ending of an old situation. Some of you may even be carrying some past energy. Maybe there's still attachments here with the ten of pentacles. It could even have to do with family situations. Some of you, maybe you you're not focused on love at this time because you could be taking care of kids, taking care of elderly parents, or taking care of someone that may have, uh, you know, been through. They're showing me crutches, someone on crutches. Uh, they may have had surgery on a leg. I'm getting a ligament as well or something within the leg pulled. I'm also getting hip surgery or something within the hips. Okay, please take that as it resonates. Pay attention to, pay attention to the head. In the month of October because I'm getting crown chakra but I'm also getting here eyes eyes temples and ears so you could get some sort of hearing test done maybe it's an eye test a vision test getting your eyes looked at uh, if some of you are having any headaches or if you're feeling dizzy you have vertigo anything of that nature make sure you see a professional and you do have the magician in the tower. So some of you may even be breaking free from a relationship so you can pursue your dreams elsewhere. Now, it says stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So yeah, stay optimistic. It's important even though you're going through some of this mending and healing because some of you really are working on healing after possibly a loss for some of you even a death. Okay, I'm also getting here with a snake. There could even be like, like a snake around you. Someone who's maybe betrayed you. Someone who hasn't been as honest. Someone who may have taken your good nature, your shining light right here and, and taken advantage of it here, right? Because snakes eat fireflies. At least I think they do. But I feel like that's the case here where some of you may have gone through a relationship or a family situation where it just felt like, there was a shocking change and someone may have taken advantage. You're liberating yourself from that though. That's why you end in the magician because you are the creator. You set boundaries. You put a stop to any situations that are no longer in your highest good. Now your soul's truth card, Leo, are you communicating your needs? Because your needs matter. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that what you are fearing is not true? Today is soul action. Journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Am I telling my full truth? 
Do I believe that my needs matter and do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want? When communicating my needs, what am I resisting and with whom? Who do I need? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? Yes, there could be some fears about expressing yourself, like we said with the Six of Wands, because maybe you've expressed yourself in the past just to kind of get a hard slap in the face, right? Or a hard no, or it feels like you're trying to communicate, but you're talking to a brick wall, right? We've all communicated with someone and it feels like we're spinning our gears and that could be that head energy or the mind that's coming in as well. If that's the case, I feel like there is some sort of unexpected shift that's going to free you from that situation. It doesn't mean physically, but emotionally or mentally, you could be freeing yourself from any situations or finally being able to get through to someone after kind of banging your head against the wall at times or feeling like you're not getting anywhere. Now, you also have the all that glitters. And so what I'm getting with this is the masks are off. With eclipse season right around the corner here and with truths coming out with the tower, this is all about things resurfacing or coming to the surface, truths, and you actually have here, let's see, where is it, a shocking change, and you have some sort of a truth, yeah, real truths with the death. So this could even be, did I say the 17th? I feel like that's a significant day, 17 for you. Some of you could be, and as I said 17, they just showed me 3017 on the clock. So 17 is significant. There is a confirmation there from spirit. This is also card 16, and the 16 is the tower. So something is coming to light here for you, but behind it, you have the sun shining and you actually have, again, the magician, which is about you having the, mis the necessary tools, but also the magician can be a misuse of power. So this could be someone around you that's misused their power and you're seeing it for what it is. And that's what we said here. It's like that snake, right? Snakes can be sneaky. They can slither up and then boom, they're right there. So I feel if there's been any sort of sneaky energy or if someone has any negative uh, motives or intentions that aren't in your highest good, spirit is opening up this portal for you to liberate yourself from it. Wow, this is a deep reading here, Leo. Now, at this time, we're going to get a few messages from your crystal spirits. But if you've been with me for a while, you know that we open that third eye chakra with a message from your spirit animals. Today, we're going to do your crystal spirit. So if you can, I just ask, please close your eyes, Leo. Take a nice, deep breath from the solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And with your eyes closed... I want you to release that breath and I want you to focus on that third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows. And imagine the first color, crystal, feeling, or energy that you receive in your mind's eye. If you have the name of a specific crystal, that's wonderful. If not, I want you just to focus on the color and the energy that the crystal gives off for you. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is post whatever crystal you've seen in your mind's eye in the comment section below the video. All right, Leo, your crystal is Labradorite. Card 29, Labradorite, beautiful stone. I actually have this stone that looks just like this right here. And you can see all of these wonderful iridescent shades. It's the rainbow color here. So card 29, that could be significant for some of you. 
So some of you were seeing all of the colors, right? You may have been seeing the deep greens, the yellows. You may have seen the hues of uh, maybe purple and blue and green. So a lot of different colors here. And this is all about awakening to the magic within, which makes beautiful sense as you end the month with the magician, which is all about magic. This is about mystery and synchronicity. It's about help from unexpected sources. And we talked about that in the beginning here of your reading. As we go about our healing work, bringing love and light into the dark corners of our hearts and our lives, we can forget that alongside reason and logic is the very practical tool of magic. Do you think of magic that way? Or did you buy into the notion that the healing toolbox contains only... What can be defined, tested, predicted, and controlled by humans and their current technology? Labradorite Spirit is here to tell you to believe in the mystery of how the universe finds ways to support us in healing what is broken. For its ways are magical. You are being called to make a conscious choice to acknowledge the reality invisible to the senses that make itself known through meaningful coincidences. Pay attention to synchronicities bearing messages from the universe, which is eager to see you replace what you have lost and repair what has become frayed or broken. Listen to the part of you whispering that something small and seemingly insignificant has great importance, for it is speaking the truth, the truth of magical synchronicities. That could be that truth showing up here. I feel underneath something that ultimately is the soul's truth, right? The truth of magical synchronicities. So when it shows up in relationships, the message for you is to be open to the magic so that you release your fears about love and open to it fully. Look for the signs that you are loved, for they will reassure you that the universe is working with you to co-create the loving partnerships you desire. Perhaps the relationship you're in has more potential than you think, or perhaps it is an important opportunity that will prepare you for the one that you truly deserve. Give up the need for certainty right now and instead leave room for magic and open yourself to the signs of the universe. You deserve that loving partnership, Leo. So seek it for yourself. Let the universe help you co-create it. Awesome. That's definitely in alignment with you making some major choices here. And when it comes to money and prosperity, logic, reason, and facts are important as you work to co-create the wealth that will support you. Uh, to, that will support you in your quest to live according to your purpose and feel your inner connectedness. Even so, do not overlook the role of magic in creating what you need. Synchronicities abound, Leo. The meaningful coincidences that you strongly sense are guiding you to think differently, act differently, and reconsider what your mind told you was the indisputable truth. You are meant to prosper and the universe is trying to help you enjoy a life free of fears about money and abundance. Messages are being sent to you to ensure that you align with the affluence and see it manifesting before your eyes. Be excited for the universe is eager to help you. Now, this beautiful stone, uh, Labradorite here, is a stone of magic and it opens up our third eye. So when you work with this crystal, whether you have it or you just tune into the energy, it can help you, it can assist you and help you see the unknown. So it's a perfect stone to work with as we navigate through eclipse season. It can help us illuminate the darker aspects, which once fully embraced and fully integrated, it often turns out to be our greatest strengths. Labradorite protects the energy field and can be utilized in magical workings, shamanic journeys, and astral travel. So all around a beautiful stone. So I'd love to hear the energy. Some of you were seeing a deep green, blue, or yellow is what I'm getting here as well. And you are opening up that, that third eye. And that's what we were connecting with, with the ears, the eyes, and uh, again, maybe even that crown chakra region. So pay attention. If you do feel a little bit of pressure this month, Leo, on any of those upper chakras, pay attention to the messages or what's going on around you because your body, the universe, you're being sent signs, symbols, and synchronicities, including your body speaking to you about what you need to know at this time.
You're going to receive clear messages. And it also states that, yes, communication is coming in that will help bring you the clarity you seek. So powerful messages for the month of October. I hope they resonate with you. Thank you so much for tuning in, Leo. If this message resonates, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channel messages out there to those that need it most. It also helps the channel's growth. I would love to see whatever crystal or color or energy you felt in your mind's eye. Please drop it in the comment section box below to be entered into the free reading giveaway. And lastly, if you're vibing with the energy of the channel and you haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button, please do so. Thank you so much, Leo, for being here. Lots of love.